Hi. We're back to Acts. Acts chapter 8 has a one-on-one -on -one preaching account, but not at a doorstep and not through a territory assignment from a congregational service arrangement. And it ended with a baptism after only one visit. Let's read the account in Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. And notice who is witnessed or preached about. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go forward, uh, go toward the south, along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury, and had come to Jerusalem to worship, and was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah, the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I unless someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him. The place in the scripture which he read was this, quoting the scripture, He was led to a sheep. He was, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation his justice was taken away, and who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this, of himself or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning at this scripture, preached Jesus to him. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water, and the eunuchs said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away so that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing through he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. So, who assigns Philip? Verse 29 tells us it's the Holy Spirit that tells him where to go. Who to speak to? Who does Philip preach about? Verse 35 tells us that starting at the passage in Isaiah and other passages, it, it gives you the indication, he preached Jesus to him. And who does the eunuch profess faith in? Verse 37, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That was what was lacking in most Jewish believers and those that were uh, going to Jerusalem to be with the Jews who believed what they were preaching but didn't know about the fulfillment of Jesus as the Messiah. So he recognizes that and professes faith in it. And notice that right after the baptism you see no dedication to or commitment made, a commitment of loyalty, to any organization or governing body. 
at the beginning of chapter 8, when it initially was talking about Philip's preaching, it said in verse 5 and 6, Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. He is speaking not at doorsteps, but to multitudes. They're hearing all together, and they're hearing about Christ. I'm going to link to a video that I did called, Do We Need God's Organization to Understand Scripture? Or Godly Spirit-Led Teachers like Philip? Well, that was one that was done, David and me, together. Till the next time.